Hi guys and girls, Vicky here from Tales from the Trails and today we are playing Planet Zoo. We have our very empty and basic zoo area. It's not open yet and we are going to be making like a big cat zoo. Animal welfare is key as long as long as well as guest happiness. So these are the things that we are going be focusing on so before we get animals we need staff buildings and we do need pathways we're going to build some pathways um let's just i don't know anything i'll just stick with that one it looks fine it's pretty big as well make that wider because there'll be a lot of foot traffic We'll bring it all the way out to there. And from here, I'm just going to bring some little areas off so we can like build guest facilities. On whichever side we choose to build our enclosures on, or the opposite side of, depending on how we're going to do it. I have no idea as yet. But we will need a staff area, and guests do not like to see staff. Because they're weird like that. Let's increase our length of pathway. So I think maybe it's like this area behind here could be our staff area. We could put a big like, wall up or something like that. Use that down. Build that there so it kind of matches. We can have a big wall so the public don't see what we don't want them to see. There we go. Okay. We have a, like the red bit here is staff area and this is public property. Well, zoo property, but public footpath. So before we can actually adopt animals, we will need staff facilities. And we got loads of different types. We have keeper huts, quarantine, vet surgeries, research centres, staff rooms, workshops, and a trade centre. We do need a trade centre before we can get any animals in. Let's go with New World. Let's just go with the New World one. They look kind of cool. Oops, I need to rotate. Rotate it round a bit more. I mean, this area will be hidden from the public. It's not going to be a problem. New world. This is the workshop. So if anything needs maintaining. Research. Again, let me write new here. Research centre large, why not? Money is no object in this one because it is a sandbox and we care about the animals, so. Bring the staff room further over this way so it's easier for people to get to. The vet surgery is going to be over here. Like so. And the keeper huts need to be near the enclosures themselves. I'm thinking if I put one at the end here, is that a small one or a large one? That's a large one. We will have a large one. We will put that there. These will need power, so let's go get some power. Uh, utilities, get rid of that, and go to solar. And I didn't place that very well at all because I couldn't see. There we go. So now we have all those buildings, what we are going to need, beautiful lens flare there, we are going to need some staff. Um, so let's first decide where we're actually going to build our enclosure. It's going to have big cats, so they're going to be, you know, they jump, they can climb. So I am just going to go with a brick, um, and we're going to increase the height of it as well. 
I know you can't see through brick, but we have a solution for that. I'm going to make it like four meters tall. There we are. Go across like that. And go that way as well. I'm going to shorten it so we can actually fit it in there. I don't mind it being square and bulky because, you know, it is what it is. Shorten it again for here so we can hopefully fit it correctly. We are going to get quickly to the animals because that is important. There we go. We now need a gate for the habitat, which is why we put it here. So let's name it. This will be Big Cat 1. We don't know what we're going to get yet. But as we are going to be hiring staff, we're going to need several caretakers. I'm going to get five to start with because guests are messy, even if you do have bins. We're going to have three keepers so they're not overworked. Uh, we're going to have a couple of mechanics. Um, probably won't need them, but, you know, we've got them there. Security, we're going to have three. Uh, we don't need to buy vendors or hire vendors because uh, they will come with the buildings. The vets we will have two of, and we will have one educator. No, make it two. So once we have that, we now have to set up work zones. And these are like areas where certain staff members will work, but I do it as a zoo as a whole, especially when it's a small zoo. We have to make a new work zone. There's the enclosure. We have the entrance in red. If it's red, it's not got a designated work zone and the employees allocated to that work zone will not go there. So we need to do that with all of these. All the buildings we placed. I'll just call the work zone all the park. So we know. And from there, we're going to go back to work zones and all our staff currently are not can't say the word designated to the work zone area. So what we're going to do is do that, and we can do that by selecting them all. Oh, did it not save it? Why did you not save our work zone? I'm sure I did that. We will do it again. Go back over there. There we go, work zone one. Will that save it this time? Yes, okay, we'll just rename it afterwards, that's fine. I don't think we can like multi-select stuff, can we? No, nope, we can't. We'll just do them all manually. Again. Existing work zone, work zone one. We'll just go to edit work zone and we will rename it the zoo. There we go, it's saved. That's all okay. So now guests cannot actually see into this enclosure. So what we need to do is edit the barriers. And yeah, essentially down here we have glass. So we can give them a view. like so so now we have this trade center over here that means we can now go to the animal trading part and we are going to go for big cats so i mean if you're going to next we've got bengal tigers keep looking we've got cheetah uh, clouded leopards. What else? Uh, da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. 
I think we're going to go for lions to start with, the West African lions. They're right near the end. They're jaguars. Quite a few different the snow leopards and all sorts. Anyway, I go right back to the end. West African lions. Here we are. Ooh, he's got good stats. If they're green, they're all good. If, you know, they're not great. So if we go for him or him, who's better? He is better. We're going to adopt this guy, this. Can't say his name, but we can rename him. That's fine. And we'll just go with her. Ideally, what you would do... Um, is your animal storage, and then you would send them straight to quarantine. Assuming I have a quarantine facility. I have a trade centre. Did I not get the... I didn't. Let's go get the... Quarantine facility. That is kind of important. I thought I had one. Apparently not. There we go. We have quarantine. So the animals, what we have, it's just to make sure that they're all okay, healthy, no injuries, and literally no um, illnesses. Can speed this process up a little bit. The guys running around with the boxes of animals. I wonder if we can go in. Can we go in? No. Oh. That's disappointing. We can't see what's going on. Anyway, we'll get a notification up here saying that quarantine has been passed or an illness has been found. If an illness has been found or an injury, it'll be taken to the vet, which is fine. What we're going to do now is pause and we're going to plan what our guests will actually experience while. You know, well, that's going on. It's not in the animal market at all. I don't know why I went there. So, guest facility. They will need an ATM to spend pennies with us. That's always a start. And we're also going to need some shops. I'm going to do this like the really basic way. Um, you can have loads of little, like, fancy decorative buildings, but... We're just going to go stick with the New World stuff. Um, but prior to that, we actually need stalls for food. So there's hot dogs, beef, all sorts, actually. Fries, pizza, and a Planet Zoo themed one. That might be easier. Um, we will have hot dogs. We will have hot dogs at our place. So, drinks. We'll have coffee. Let's have coffee. I'll have one over here as well. But uh, we'll have smoothies, I think. And we will have chief beef. Because everyone likes a bit of cow. Unless you're vegetarian or vegan. And then you won't. But, you know. Um, okay, we're just going to put the information booths in as well. So people can get more information about their visit and animals and stuff like that. And we're going to have a Just a Memento, which is a souvenir shop. Looney Balloons as well, I think. So now we're going to have to find a shell. This new world, which we are going for. They do look kind of fancy. This makes the buildings look nicer, essentially. All ready for our guests. A bit fiddling sometimes but it's fine we are getting there that one's already got one that one needs one there we go okay so now these buildings will have to go into a work zone so before we start We'll just do that very quickly with the ATMs, just in case they break. We do need toilets. Um, facilities, toilets, large toilet. We'll have a toilet there. 
And we will have one over there as well, I think. Because we can. So what we're going to work on next is... Oh, making sure the timer is running. I'm going to check on the animals which we have in the wrong place over there they're in quarantine quarantine completed awesome i'm gonna put our kitty cats in here and it's night time that really helps things so they will arrive through this gate very shortly and then we can see what we need to do to make them happy in their new enclosure Click on the animal after pausing. They don't like the habitat and there's no enrichment, so that's fine. We can sort that out. They need uh, more short grass, less long grass, and it's stuff like that. And all this like terraforming stuff, we sort out down here. We're just trying to make everything nice and green. Um, we need more rock. Okay, we, we need more rock, that's fine. We will do that. Might even give him like a little pond. Here we go, fill it with water so they can drink if they so wish. So all that is okay. They're gonna, oh, they're quite happy with the plants in there, that's fine. Enrichment is Quite a, a tricky one sometimes, but we can bring up the Zoopedia and it tells you about the research somewhere. Not there. There we go. Cardboard box, large ball, pro scent sack, scratching post, fire hose ball, sprinkler, rubbing pad, blood scent marker, blah 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 blah, scratching posts, and these things over here for food enrichment. So we're going to add those to the habitat anyway they are going to need a shelter because we've got water there um we will have to put a water filter in as well keep it clean but we need the enrichment the food enrichment which was the restraint feeder i believe was one of them um da -da -da -da. the blood pumpkin was another as for toys, there was the fire hose, a rubbing pad. Well, let's do the scratching trees. We can add multiple scratching trees. Because kitty cats like to scratch on things. And obviously a couple of cardboard boxes. Because otherwise, you know, what cat doesn't like a cardboard box? Food and water. I am going to put a tray in. We don't particularly need it per se, but you know, and they will need shelter. So let's think about this. Um, we'll just give them a standard, not that one, that's too small. That's too small, it's the same one. Will that fit in there? Eh. I'm figuring it out, we're getting there. One of those will do. But we'll also have some, um, not large, we need some medium bedding in there, I think. There we go. But technically, these lions should start to feel a bit happier already. Let's have a look at them. Uh, enrichment's 100%, habitat 98. What's up with your habitat, love? Not much. She's just moaning, I think. There we go, we have our kitty cat. Which is kind of cool. I don't know where they're off to, they're going that direction. Having a run around. Many guessings you're. Tickets are underpriced. Well, the guests are starting to come in now, so, you know, that's a good thing. So what we are going to do here, we're going to give them information. Um, facilities. 
media, get rid of that filter. We can have the animal talk point where there's like the educator which we hired. And uh, we'll set that in a second. Have an educational speaker. And we will have the habitat info board. In addition, we will need a donation box. If I can find it. Um, D-O-N. There it is. So people can put their nice donations into the box. And support the zoo. And the animals and the people and everything involved. Set that up. Have a talk with the lions. No educator is assigned yet because it's out of the work zone. We've not allocated the work zone. We will do. There we go. This is like signposts which have information about the animal. Guests love that stuff. I've not decorated yet. It's still quite an ugly zoo. Um, so we, what do we need? We need to get rid of the filter and we need utilities. We need the water treatment for the water over here. I'm sure it's the right way around. There it is. And in addition, we need to go back to our work zone. And all these buildings that we like made and bought and the education podium. They all need to be part of something. Oh, are they two-sided? Are they? They are. I didn't know that. I need to readjust the pathways because of the toilets, apparently. I'm just going to assign all these uh, vendors, which came with the buildings, to the work zone, which we've done. Oh yeah, okay, got two pathways, that's cool. Where's the other pathway over here? There it is, okay, we need another path. Doesn't need to be that wide, but... There we go. People are donating by the look of it, $200. Um, Back click on it. Over a thousand dollars that one, that's awesome. Do we have an educator? We do have an educator. We'll put some music on there as well. The Africa playlist. These are our kitty cats. We can actually have the camera on them. I think I've actually got my graphics turned down. Um address that. Yeah, settings, graphics, low? I think not. Resume. Graphics are increased as you can tell. Way. Let's get our camera on this guy. Isn't he pretty? I'll just see what he does for a moment. Privacy filter. Anywho, yes, animals do poop. It is what they do. And they're awesome at it. So all our guests seem to be throwing litter on the floor. So yes, we have to sort that out. I expect the caretakers to pick every piece of litter off the floor. So let's go for, see if we can get a new, new world bin. There we go. Put some in the middle. Oh, very modern looking. Nice and shiny. There we go. 
Lots of people queuing up for everything. I think we'll have some benches. Um, maybe put them down here because people are using the pathways correctly for now, but they don't really need to go down this area. Have a little look. Not that cover, but we'll get a... Stick one of them on the table, why not? Nice and shady for them. I know it's probably not meant to be on there, but hey. They'll still use it, it's fine. I mean, fingers crossed pretty soon. I've not noticed. Guessing so your tickets are underpriced. We will set them at $8 and $5. That's $8 for adults and $5 for children. And they are using the benches correctly. Which is ace. And the lines are quite easy to set up anyway. There's a pretty... And she's going to get some sleep by the look of it. You can check on all the welfare. You can write what terrain they're in, how happy they are, enrichment. Uh, this is like the genealogy, the parents and the siblings and the babies. And that's the current mate. That's the other guy in the enclosure with her. He's asleep there which is fine so let's check on a guest happiness um guests the litter is disgusting it's your litter well they're lacking in education so maybe that is half of the problem so we will put some education boards up i think and uh, these ones make sure they face the correct way because that would be silly otherwise We'll put like one there, one here, one there, and you even set what is being shown on these boards as well. It's all very much in depth. You do seem to like information, that's amphibians, bee population decline information, deforestation, next ecotourism uh, climate change uh, land sharing versus land sparing poaching and the exotic pet trade and there is another one here which we will do uh, Population fragmentation. There is rubbish on the floor still, but hey. That's why we have so many caretakers. They will sort it out and get it cleaned up in no time, which is awesome. It's a whole construction area as well. We can build walls, buildings. Obviously, we need lights anyway. Um, we'll get new world lights. Um, what kind of light? They're little lights. These are tall lights. We like the tall lights. We'll do those. Might have to turn them around though. Um, yeah, I'll have to turn those around. That's fine. When it goes dark, they can still see what is going on. There we go. I'll turn these ones around. I don't think we need that many here, but hey. We'll put one on the other side as well. We'll move it over here. And we will try and make it look a little bit more pretty. Um, da, 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 da. Centerpieces. They're always awesome. New world scenes. 
We'll have that there. I think that'll look fantastic there. It's got a deer in it. I know it's not really Africa themed, but it's what it is. We'll put that one there. And have a matching one there. And what is this? This has got wolves. Yes, there are wolves in the game. Where should we put it? I don't know. Here. That's a good place. That looks pretty. That'll do. We could have planters. And I've never even tried to put plants in planters before, so... Shall we try it? I think we should try that. We'll do this one. Will people be able to see over them? I'm not sure. Where should we put it? I will put one there. And one there. And then we're going to go to nature. And put some of these pretty purple ones in. If it lets me. Not tried it. We are trying it. Ooh. There you go. It does. Awesome. That is super cool. Never done that. That is cool. Put some more plants just round about around here. Improve the overall look. The guests do appreciate it. Oh, why is it snowing? These cats are not going to like that. I do have a European-based zoo, which does not help. So in the case of this, it's going to complain that your cats are not in the correct environment. So we are going to stick a few heaters in. Probably the guests will complain as well. So we're going to put one in and then we're going to set the temperature. 20 degrees. If you check the zoo, uh, the Zoopedia, um, it will tell you what temperature the cats like to be in. Um, 8 to 40. They're fine at 20. As you can see, the snow around has melted. We're going to, like, duplicate it. We're going to add more scenery to the, the lion enclosure anyway, because it looks a bit drab. Like, not great. We can always hide these, like, uh, he... I can't speak today. We can always hide the heaters. Um, under rocks and trees and things like that. This is just like future proofing. Hopefully. I mean, he's sheltering under the tree. The tree is doing a pretty good job of keeping the snow off the ground there. Grab another one. Duplicate. That's what we're doing. I don't mind a bit of snow in there, but it's not great. I guess complaining it's cold or saying they're thirsty. I'm not really complaining about the uh, temperature. Eh, they're okay about it. And yes, the zookeepers do come to clean up. So what we're going to do now is go to nature. And we're going to get some rocks for these pussy cats. Because you can put your heaters under them. And they're completely movable in different ways. Make it look random. Big rock. I have a big rock in there as well, apparently. Little rock there. And some animals do interact with them, which is awesome. Here we go. I don't think that was a heater, I think that was a, a toy then. Let's put that there. Yeah, there's a heater. Nature. Um, 
just hide it, you know, randomly. As we go around. It's to hide it from the public more than anything. Makes it a little nicer to look at. We're going to get rid of the menu and we're going to speed it up and see where time takes us. We're about to have offspring. We have cubs. We have baby kitty cats. They're quite big. They are quite big cubs, though. Why are they so big? Medium sized. I mean, that lion there, the lioness, she is interacting with the food. So, what cubs do we have? Let's have a look. We have a boy and a girl. How sweet. Obviously, we don't want them to inbreed, hence, you know, just in case, you know, we put a uh, contraceptive on them to stop them inbreeding. Gone dark. It's light. So yeah. Speed it up again. Everybody seems to be doing okay. Cues are not too big. Lots of red balloons being bought. With the shops as well, you can get all the individual prices. Can actually get to it. There we are, Looney Balloons. Price, so you can set all the individual items and their prices. And it's like with the, the drinks and the food, you can set condiments as well. Like how much sugar, do you want to sell sugar with it? Cream, this, that, the other. Very in depth, it really is. Got a big cat over here still all doing well walking into a box as you do they're doing okay they're doing fine it kind of really covers it i think in its basic raw form oh he's having a drink slow it down it looks so cool, it really does. I love this game. And he's got wet legs from when he was in the water. How cool is that? But yeah, this is like a, a brief look at Zoo, at Planet Zoo. It is so good, it really is. It's like a really relaxing game. I don't know why, but it is. It's a favorite. There you go. This has been Zoo, at Planet Zoo. Okay. I'm trying to call it a different name. This, this is Planet Zoo. I've been Vicky from Tales on Trails. I hope you do enjoy my videos. Some way, shape or form. If you subscribe already, please do so. And happy trails out there.